Good morning everyone! On this blessed day I'm making a serving tray out of the heart of olive wood and I start this whole thing off by getting help from my daughter to cut me a nice piece of olive. She got to use the middle piece and I used the edge since it had two hairline cracks in it. Once that was done, my daughter helped me out to plane the whole thing smooth. The piece was warped a little bit so at first I had to use a few edges to make sure to get the bottom perfectly plain and once that was done I worked on the top. I was being extra careful not to take too much off since I really liked how thick this piece was. So even though I tried to smooth out imperfections on the plane, I left just enough so that I could remove it easily by sanding. And now it was time to take care of these very small hairline cracks and also two craters in the middle that were a little bit too deep for my liking. So at first I applied a little bit of glue to those spots and then I used Dremel tool to generate fine sawdust. In the past I have tried storing sawdust in Ziploc bag for future use but notice that somehow fresh sawdust always works best. The piece I'm using to generate sawdust is also olive wood so hopefully colors should be matching. Be very generous with the sawdust you create, excess can just be brushed off anyways. Make sure to generate enough sawdust so that you cannot see the glue anymore and then slowly massage it into the cracks. Use a lot of force to really force that paste into the cracks. Once you feel like you are done, brush the rest of the sawdust off. If you leave it, the glue residue will actually make it stick and it will take more time to get it off using the sander. I usually let the whole thing dry for two days after I'm done. Now that everything is fixed up, time to sand it! First start off working on the imperfections left from the glue and then move on to actual sanding. I always start off with 80 grit and then slowly move up to 800 grit. I use the first 80 to 150 grits to give the piece the shape that I want and then afterwards I just enter my zen state and go all the way up to 800 grit. I want to take some time to explain why this video seems like I did it at the end of the fall. You are correct, it was filmed back uh, at fall. I have some footage backlog that I'm working on right now. Main reason for it is because I had an accident in my garage. The wall that was holding all the tools has collapsed under the weight of the shelves and nearly killed me. So now I'm stuck in a huge process of figuring out how to rework my garage. Space has always been an issue in there, but with the wall collapsing and nearly killing me, I now have to think of alternative means of storing my tools safely. Anyway, now that the sanding is done, it is time for me to oil it up. This is the most favorite part of mine, especially when it comes to olive wood. Olive wood always has this explosion of colors everywhere as soon as oil touches it. And with each coat of oil, the colors get more and more pronounced. For this piece, I applied a total of three coats of oil. Once oiling is done, the final step is to apply wax. And that's what I do here. I take it really slow. Well. Now you know why I have made this video. I'm just trying to save up a bit of cash so that I can change a few things up in my garage, free up some space and figure out how to store tools so that they won't get in the way but then they are not hanging on a wall. If you guys have any suggestions, I welcome them. Anyway, after some waxing, that's it. The piece was completed. Working on olive wood is always such a pleasure and it is really fun to see the end result. I will try to get my hands on more olive wood in the summer. This piece turned out really great and the hairline cracks are not even visible. Thank you so much for watching this guys and hearing me rant. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing and maybe leaving a like. I try to release videos every week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye bye!